get an English breakfast. <laughs> and now we're holding up a truck. Dramatic landscape. Everywhere. <laughs> campers uh, this is a quick update from Altea we're on our way south we're about halfway down the coast towards Gibraltar uh, we spent the night in a campsite which is in Altea just above Benidorm man I don't know if I can recommend it very hot very humid there's no wind at all uh, mosquitoes uh, there is some party going on until 5 a.m. because if you're retired you don't need to go to school the next day Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Benidorm. Where the hell are we, man? Spain or Egypt? <laughs> Strip malls and palm trees. <laughs> Morning. <laughs> Everything okay after? Everything is okay. So <laughs> snel mogelijk eruit. Such a weird vibe here. I don't know if it's in my head being prejudiced or this is what I'm reading but it's like a mix between quite rural and dry and then uh, you see these sky rises which are just bizarre. Loads of palm trees which uh, give it a tropical feel. The iconic Benidorm Towers man. Okay. We zo'n beetje erin gaan. We're going to have a quick quiz and then we're going to come back. Back, 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 back. I don't know how much of this we're going to do today. And then the planning is to go into the mountain. It reminds me of Dominican. Yes, I was just thinking that. Well, there's the sea. Welcome to Gibraltar, man. We made it! London buses. You know, this is like being in England, man. The entrance to Gibraltar, customs. Across the runway, which was really rather strange. Got to the first roundabout went around here, followed the coast road, there's a tunnel around here, there was a monkey there, we came down here, uh, we had a quick look around here, and you have a nice view of the harbour over here which is bigger than we thought, and then we took the road back up here, we through here somewhere, da -da -da. and then we got onto the main streets, and would you believe we actually found parking? I mean, there must be like 100 parking spots in the whole thing. But there you have it. That took us 10 minutes, 15 minutes to do the whole thing. Pint of Guinness and a cup of tea. And a cup of tea and a Coke. And a Coke. At the Lord Nelson. The most amazing Guinness. It's, 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 as if we're in Ireland. Welcome to Gibraltar. Yeah. <laughs> Towards the Sierra Nevada, and uh, we're going to be doing a little route 
at least everyone be seeing the sea for a little while. That looks like Sierra Nevada, man. That looks high and that looks wild. That's why we're here. We've seen a hundred bridges crossing these rivers and most of them are dry. While you're waiting for your um, food, you get a little bit of tapas. That is very cool. Yeah. This is so cool. That's a hey, salad. That is mega, man. And now we're holding up a truck behind us doing a delivery. <laughs> As you do in a landy. to the rain. We obviously have had too much sun. <laughs> I love the forest up here, which is fantastic. All the green. We've got a cloud that's cooled down a lot, which is quite nice. Except in here, the uh, cockpit. It's not always bloody warm. <laughs> this is why we wear our flip-flops, of course. They seem to like their ham around here. putting our faith in technology and technology that's not really working very well uh, the GPS doesn't seem to be picking up where we are exactly so we're not sure if we'll be able to if we'll be getting lost in the middle of nowhere welcome to uh, off-roading man well that was the idea to go get lost somewhere reminds me of Portugal Portugal had a lot more ferns everywhere oh, that's also some true. of those huge hillsides these are wild oaks, <laughs> that's my guess. Green oaks. Green oaks, wild green oaks. And uh, these are the green oaks that the uh, truffle mushrooms grow under. Truffles? Yeah. What do you say, truffles? <laughs> that is so cute. Stunning. It reminds me of that hill in uh, Ireland, <laughs> then we climbed down Brown Hill, Brown Hill. <laughs> with the most massive hangout. But thank you, Patricia and John. <laughs> nice here, man. <laughs> When's the last time we've been uh, green lady? <laughs> 19. <laughs> Is it? <laughs> Two thousand meters, man. Nice, man. Certainly cooler than it was at the coast. <laughs> the gates are a bit wonky, so they're not staying open. Yeah. Heeft gisteren. Ja. Anders had het hier echt heel gestuifd. Nog droger. Ja. Waar are deze tomatoes? Wat zijn de tomatoes? Ik ga zoomen. Oh, hij is 
insane. <laughs> Thank you, good for you. It could easily be South African in Sutu. It's unbelievable how similar it is. From the rickety old fences to the uh, uh, shabby um, huts. <laughs> the vegetation is very similar. Wow. <laughs> I feel like I should have you. <laughs> Santana. Is Spain breaking bigger than France? It just seems to carry on for miles and miles and miles. This is quite creepy that it's just like Africa, as Vic said before. The countryside is just amazingly similar. It's about a thousand meters up, and what a vista. And apparently down there is the sea, and on a good day, according to the owner here, you can see the sea, which is about 50 kilometers. And on a very good day, you can even see Africa, which is astounding. That's about 100 kilometers away. That's what we've been told, fantastic. We're in a nice little camping here. This place used to be, it was an abandoned campsite. We took taken over the place about four years ago and trying to get it back up to speed. It's been really nice for us because there's basically nobody here. There's two other cars here. Today we're heading off to some kind of desert area, very dry area. Cool, daily check. Ready to go, man. 10 years? Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, yeah, doesn't quite work the way it should, but. It makes a nice noise. <laughs> it's actually a really nice campsite. Uh, when we first got in here, we thought it might be, like, you know, it kind of looked like a typical municipal camping. But it's actually owned privately by the nicest, nicest, nicest person. He really made us feel uh, very welcome. So thank you, Tina, it was brilliant. Uh, they cooked for us last night as well, and the food was really good. I mean, considering where we are, it's it's, it's always a, it's something that I admire very much. I uh, had a good night's sleep. Uh, it was quite windy, so it was nice and cool. Um, the showers are very simple, but uh, they work, work very well. Um, it's clean, which is uh, important. Uh, toilet is also clean, uh, but, you know, very simple. But that's why we come to these really basic campings. What an awesome sight from up here. Just these massive plains. They've used that for solar and wind energy, I think, but it's just beautiful to see the contrast between the mountains. Really steep, and then this huge flat plain down there. down from the Sierra Nevada. This is actually the village where they filmed the good, the bad and the ugly. Who hasn't seen that? And I'm amazed at how they set up the place. It looks like just empty buildings and facades, which is what it is. But if you have the right angle, the right camera frame shot, you can make it look like it's a living town. And I can imagine when they've got all the sets, the props, the people out there, you wouldn't know the difference between here in the middle of New Mexico or Texas somewhere. Fascinating place. Might be a little bit corny for some of you, but come and have a look, man. It's really funny, it's quite fun. Pretty good likeness.
built up house that is just a pocket of it, a pocket of it, a pocket There are some trees, there are some bushes, there are some shrubs, birds and butterflies. I don't know if you can see it here, but this uh, rock is like, very, very shiny. Absolutely gorgeous. I have a brand new appreciation for space. Momentum, dude. What happened to the momentum? It puts a corner in the middle of a 10 degree hill. <laughs> Tell you what, it's one of our best spots so far. It seems very remote, it's very rugged around here. I'm trying to give you a view of where we are. There's the camping over there. The palm trees in there is very green. Very cool, very basic, it's nice. And out here, a lovely sea which has finally given us some uh, surf in the Mediterranean, which we haven't. <laughs> actually experienced before, but every day is a new camping, it's a new experience, it's a new area. And this is great being out here discovering Spain, which has been just fantastic. So let's see what tomorrow brings, man. <laughs> that was so nice, so relaxing. Um, I'm doing the Wim Hof breathing, which is all about uh, healing yourself from uh, the inside. And then there's also a bit of a form of meditation as well, so it's like... <laughs> and doing it at the beach is just the most amazing, amazing experience with the sound of the waves and... <gasps> if it was up to me, I'd make everybody in the world do it. fantastic place this is. What a fantastic little road. It's just a tiny little ribbon of road. 20, 30 k's long, nobody around. Then little piece of tarmac, steep drop-offs, dramatic landscape. Fantastic. up it is man. Yeah. Costa del something. But yeah, more and more and more apartments, hotels, all of that. And a little boat man. Hey guys, welcome to Peniscola. Yeah I know it's a bit of a weird name for us uh, English speaking people. Lovely place, a lovely little town, little town very developed, it's just like the whole coast along uh, this northern part of Spain towards Barcelona. Uh, very nice beach, very big wide open uh, beaches. The surf was too rough for us, we tried to go in but the lifeguard told us to get out straight away because it's too much of a current apparently. But we got our hair wet, after that we went into the pool in the camping which is very nice. Uh, there's a big boulevard along the front of this uh, town which is quite nice to uh, have a look. Stroll around, a lot of restaurants, a lot of places to uh, visit. Uh, we've got one more day, we're going up to Playa de Aro, which is kind of a really cool place. That's where we started our journey before we headed to Gibraltar and back. We're going to stay there for a day or two, maybe three, and uh, just chill. Catch a bit of a tan. We haven't had any tan yet, man. What's going on here? Oh, 
Good morning, guys. I can confirm uh, the sun doesn't always shine in Spain. Lovely rainstorm. Beautiful rain. Slept very well last night. I have to try and pack up everything in the rain, which is always a bit of a difficulty. So, got most of it in the van already. And yeah, one more box. And we're ready to hit the road again. But yeah, I love rain, man. I love camping in the rain. It's always a bit of a challenge. You're going to get wet. And it really adds to the character, right? Not everybody cup of tea. Yeah, if you're talking about tea, here's the milk. <laughs> the rain in Spain, or, or mainly on everywhere. <laughs> not on the plains, man. The plains. This is ridiculous. It's yes. been raining for the last 12 hours, man. Yeah. That is quite bad. It makes it a difference. <laughs> what do you do when you forget your raincoat? Yes. yes. A, I've got my little shorts on so that my legs are easier to dry than uh, clothes. It's amazing. It's so cool to see. It really seems that uh, the Spanish coast is one that you can travel and actually park on the uh, beach uh, if you've got an RV. Because we've been looking in France for uh, spots like that. Yeah. Um, any parking near a beach has got a two meter barrier to prevent people in uh, taller cars from parking. But surfers. Surfers, wow. man. That's been a long time. Go dudes! I'm not sure, but those are the flags, I think. They could be playing a game of football, but they're all wearing little blue shirts here. And that is? I'm not sure. <laughs> Incredible storms, so it's really nice to be in the sunshine again. We're just chilling, had a wonderfully leisurely breakfast. I am speculous. Um, this is why we've come back. I'm so happy to be here again. The sea one. And the Oh, 
Somebody decided to empty their entire swimming trunks into the back of the truck. I'm not uh, pointing fingers or blaming anyone. <laughs> I can't believe this is our last day of camping. Uh, it's been amazing and sleeping inside the car has been a lot more comfortable than I thought it would be. Um, so yes, from now on we're probably going to be sleeping inside the car. Thank you Spain, it's been amazing. Voila. Welcome to France, man. Thoughts on Spain? I think I'm starting to understand what Spain is all about. For us, it's the first time we've been to southern Spain. It's the first time we've followed the coast road all the way down. It's been two weeks. We spent a lot of time in different campings. And we've had a little bit of a cross section of the uh, east coast of Spain on the Mediterranean. We went to Gibraltar, which was great, that was our mission. We made it down there in two days, which was a long slog. And then we slowly made our way back up the coast again. Uh, we went to a western village, man. Saw a shootout and a battle robbery. This is fantastic. We did fine, I mean. So, yeah, we uh, accomplished our goals. We're actually quite rested now, and I would recommend anyone to come and visit Spain as well, because it's just a fantastic country, and the people are really nice. We avoided the big cities because that's not what we really want to come and do. We just want to come and chill, find out these uh, little campings that are quite uh, remote as well. And I think we succeeded in that. So, thumbs up for me. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. Keep rolling. Catch you on the next one.